नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे लेट्स नो द फिफ्थ नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड एज प्राइज इन विष्णु सहस्रनाम बाय भीष्म पितामह भूतकृत 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 नाउ लेट्स लिजन टू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस नेम अलॉन्ग विद द रेफरेंस फ्रॉम भगवद गीता विच इज क्लोज टू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस नेम द वर्ड Bhuta means the world the sky air fire water and the earth are referred to as the pancha bhutam five elements of nature krit means the creator of course the world was created by mahavishnu that is why Mahavishnu is called Bhutakrit Lord Brahma originated from the navel of Lord Vishnu It is Lord Brahma who is in charge of all creation as the one who created the creator of all created things as the one who created the creator of the all created things mahavishnu is the supreme creator brahma is the creator of all created things you and me and all this earthly things material things were created by brahma who has created brahma brahma was created by mahavishnu that is why mahavishnu is the supreme creator the lord is bhutakrit in another way also so now we learned why he is called why vishnu is called bhutakrit in one way now we will know another way the lord is bhutakrit in another way also as the expression can be taken to mean one who annihilates all creatures bhutani krutanti iti bhutakrit the puranas state that lord shiva performs the destructive action of reverting all created things to the state they were in before they were created it is evident that destruction is a part of the expansion and evolution which is creation creation keeps expanding and then evolving and destruction is one of the things that has to happen to continue this expansion and evolution it is the seed that transforms into itself into a plant the seed gets transformed into a plant so what has happened to the seed seed got destructed what is the new form of that seed evolved form expanded form is the plant as this small plant grows into the gigantic tree it has to go through many transformations in this process only the ruin of a one stage can lead to the next stage the flower shrivels and gives way to the seed in the case of man after the termination of infancy adolescence is reached adolescence disappears and the youth emerges as youthfulness diminishes old age creeps in these changes can be termed as death or destruction uninterrupted creation can only coexist with continuous eradication destruction can be termed as the 
preparatory work for a new birth. In the Sankhya Yoga of the Bhagavad Gita, second chapter and thirteenth shloka of Bhagavad Gita, in that Sri Krishna states thus. Dehino asmin yadha dehe kaumaram yavanam jara tadha dehantara praptihi dheeras tatra namuchya muhyati dheeras tatra namuhyati The meaning of this is same as the word or the name of the Lord Bhutakrit with respect to the second way of explanation that is one who annihilates all creatures see what lord krishna said when he was counseling arjuna lord krishna counsels arjuna that the embodied soul passes through adolescence and youth to enter another body this is a natural process and therefore death should not be mourned creation preservation and destruction are the law of nature on deeper analysis they can be seen as being one and the same this leads to the realization that the lord who manifests himself as brahma vishnu and maheshwara and performs this threefold action can be described as bhutakrit 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 om namo bhagavate vasudevayam <coughs>